In my series of neighborhood tours, today we are going to tour Clarkson Village. It is one of my absolutely favorite neighborhoods in Mississauga and one that you should watch. Hello, this is Sonia, your local realtor with Remax Realty Specialist, bringing you everything in and about Mississauga. Clarkson Village is a tale of two worlds, starting with the more affordable area of Park Royal and going all the way up to multi-million dollar waterfront estate homes. It's not a picture perfect village, but people who know Clarkson love Clarkson. Over the past decade, Clarkson has been coming into its prime due to its south location and easy access to Toronto. The GO train has made Clarkson an attractive destination for professionals moving to Mississauga from Toronto who wants to trade in their tiny condo for a house with backyard but still be able to get into the city quickly. Clarkson Village is not your typical suburban neighborhood with only big box stores and chain restaurants. Take a stroll on Lakeshore Road and you will find restaurants, several pubs and shopping. It's also very easy to head over to Port Credit or even downtown Toronto if you want a night out. Transit is good for those who don't have a car and for young singles, young families and even seniors. Clarkson ticks all the right boxes. Having said that, a large part of Clarkson is still a community in transition. There are several pockets of home that suffer from lack of upkeep. Although that is rapidly changing as prices rise and new owners are fixing them up. Clarkson is located south of QEW between Winston Churchill and Clarkson Road, south of Lakeshore. It is east of South Down Road and ends at Jack Darling Memorial Park. Clarkson can be divided further into sections. On the west end of Clarkson is Park Royal, which consists of a mix of townhomes, semi-detached homes, and detached. Next is the area of South Down Road and goes just past Clarkson Road. This area often gets confused with Lorne Park because it falls in the Lorne Park secondary school boundaries. Plus, the area has a more wooded feel like Lorne Park, but with smaller, older built homes, mostly in 1950s and 1960s. Clarkson Village is the area south of the railroad tracks covering the village. Here you will find a mix of older and historical homes, custom homes, condos and townhomes by Inver House and Walden Circle and luxury real estate homes by the lake in the exclusive Rattray Marsh. Rattray Park Estates south of Lakeshore Road is one of the most exclusive real estate pockets in Mississauga. The winding streetscape includes large houses on premium sized lots with lot of mature trees. This enclave of homes abuts Lake Ontario and the Rattray Marsh Conservation Area. North of Lakeshore Road, you will find pretty much any type of home from new and older townhomes to ranch-style bungalows, colonial revivals and custom new homes. The village has an immense variety of neighborhoods from young professional families, singles and seniors. It depends on what area of the village you are looking at and what is your budget. While economically, the demographics vary widely from Park Royal to Rattray Marsh, one thing almost everyone has in common is a pride in their community. Clarkson has four home associations, which is quite a few for the size of the area. It speaks to the residents' long-term commitment to ensure that the needs of its residents are at the table with municipal affairs, as well as fosters a strong sense of community among residents. Supporting or joining a local homeowner association is a great way to meet the neighbors and get immersed into the activities and goals of a neighborhood. There are a variety of housing styles in Clarkson from townhomes to estate homes, but the most typical home you will encounter in Clarkson is the 1950s to 1960s suburban style home. Originally, homes were simple. This reflected the working class demographic of Park Royal. However, if you drive through the streets of Park Royal today, you can see a drastic shift forward from many new residents investing in and renovating the homes. New exterior facings, doors, windows, landscapings are making a dramatic difference, one house at a time. Change is slow, but it is happening. For Clarkson Village, Rattray Marsh and the area east of South Down Road, there is more even a mix of custom homes and small builder development of larger homes. 
Clarkson has several high rises that are popular with both first time buyers and seniors. The largest concentration of townhomes in Clarkson is located on Broomsgrove Road in Royal Park, west of the Go Train Station. Prices in this area are relatively affordable due to their age and location, and renovated units will fetch top dollars. So, this is a good option for first time home buyers and investors. If your budget is higher, there are a number of higher end townhomes complexes in Clarkson Village that might appeal to you. High rise condos are located near the intersection of South Down Road and Lakeshore Road and are very popular with downsizers due to their location and access to amenities. Due to their relative affordability and size, young families have started moving in as well as a means to get a foothold on the Clarkson Village property ladder. There is a wide variety of semi detached homes in Clarkson which dominates the area two story, back split, or bungalow. For detached homes in this era, there are also bungalows, side splits, and some two stories. All of them have mature tree lined streets and generous lot size. Many have very private backyards. These homes have only begun to be renovated and landscaped, so there is still a great opportunity to find sweat equity home that would increase in value with cosmetic updates and curb appeal. You will find large and stately homes with wide lots and beautiful curb appeal south of Lakeshore Road along Bexhill, Bobo Link, Meadowwood Roads and their offshoots. It is very similar in look and feel to Lorne Park and the prices are just as high. There are still many waterfront properties despite so much land being dedicated to public parks. This community is truly one of the most beautiful areas of Mississauga and to an outsider you may never even know it exists. Part of its charm is that it's tucked far down from the road from Lakeshore Road and with views of the lake and nature it's pretty hard to beat. The Clarkson Community Center is located at 2475 Truscrod Drive, features an ice arena, a large gymnasium, a public library, multi-purpose community meeting room, and an outdoor children water play area. Retray Marsh Conservation Area and the Lake Ontario Waterfront provides recreational opportunities including hiking and bird watching. Jack Darling Memorial Park also on Lake Ontario has a children playground with splash pad, a dog park, picnic area and a small beach. Let's talk about some of the pros. Many storefronts have been revitalized and there is a level of charm that has evolved in the area of the lakefront. Clarkson has its own community with fairs and local events happening all year round. A major advantage is access to Toronto via 20 minute go train ride which still being one of the most affordable areas along the lakeshore in the greater Toronto area. And the con of the area is the lakefront is still a diversified mix with many businesses in need of facelift. Though it does not look like port credit yet, Clarkson is up and coming and will continue to improve over the next decades to come. Parks are great but waterfront parks are even better. They are relatively rare and too much there is such a soothing element to being close to the water. Although Lakeview already puts up some tough competition and with the impending redevelopment of Lakeview and Port Credit waterfront lands, I may have to review my opinion but here and now I think Clarkson has the best variety and quality of parks along the water. Lakeside Park is a great to take the kids for play structure and splash bed. Meadowwood is home to Bradley Museum and slowly winding down to a quiet beachfront view. Jack Darling is the perfect place for large gatherings of friends and family and also offer play zones and sunny walking trails along the water. Retre Marsh Conservation is a gorgeous protected environment that educates about the local flora and fauna and is mostly shaded on a hot sunny day. If you like being outside and waterside, nothing beats Clarkson. Clarkson is all about being a walkable village. The majority of homes can easily access amenities along Lakeshore and or Truscott Drive. Even more so, Clarkson has about 25 kilometers of walking trails. So whether you are a biker, runner and have a scooter or like to walk your dog, there is really no excuse to get out and be active.
Clarkson gets better year after year and that has a lot to do with the Clarkson business improvement area. There is a wide variety of places to go eat such as Capra's Kitchen owned and operated by Messino Capra of Food Network fame, Restaurant Makeover and Chopped Canada. There are also famous Clarkson Pump and Patio and Michael's Backdoor. There are antique stores, many nail and therapy spas, art galleries, flower shops, home decor stores. Now let's talk about the quality and ranking of schools. Schools are improving with a new generation moving in. The area of Clarkson east of South Town Road falls within the Lordney Park Secondary School, which is one of the top high schools in Mississauga and has a long-standing reputation for excellence. Iona Catholic Secondary School is the top 16% of all Ontario schools, a very good school and all of Clarkson falls within the catchment area. Clarkson Secondary School, which is the public high school for majority of the Clarkson, is just outside the top 40% of all Ontario secondary schools. It is trending upwards in recent years, but is still not highly regarded compared to other schools in the area. And now let's talk about the real estate scoop. In the last 5-10 years, the most prestigious and appealing areas of Clarkson and Rattray Marsh have inched out of the budget of the average family buyer, though still more affordable than other lakeshore areas of the city. Clarkson offers tremendous value and an investment in certain areas will pay out on spades over the long run. Clarkson Village itself has much more charm, amenities, activities, and you also have easy access to Port Credit and downtown Toronto. Thanks for watching and don't forget to join me next week. Until then, stay happy and stay safe.